What is up internet? I'm the nice one and today I got another character modeling video for you. This time we're making a knight for D&D. So sit back, relax, and let me make the mistakes for you. What's up YouTube? So it looks like you guys really liked last week's video on character modeling. The step-by-step -step tutorial and I hope you guys are coming out with your own crazy custom characters based on it. This week though we're making a knight from D&D. It's gonna be another time-lapse video because I've been sitting on this one for a little bit now and just haven't had the time to post it. But don't worry, there's gonna be a lot more tutorial videos coming out and especially once I've finished these last two, just so that I can get them out of the archive. Tune in next week when we make a Tifling Hexblade, but for now, let's start that night. Open up Blender and blow away what the default objects are. Now hit Shift A and create a basic cube. And so if you've been watching my previous videos, the process is pretty much the same. You start with a cube, and then go Ctrl R to add a loop cut. If you right click, you'll be able to add a loop cut dead center between the two vertices that you're trying to cut between. Add a few more, and then go Ctrl E, Slide Edge. The Slide Edge feature allows you to slide an edge between the two adjacent edges along the plane that they've generated. So this is great if you want to move or model out a shape without making too much of an XYZ adjustment. Once you've basically made the initial torso, which is the way I like to start, I like to go to the legs next by making the groin and then extruding out making the thighs, the calves, and then the feet. Now move on to the arms, creating the shoulder first, the bicep, tricep, elbow joint, and then the forearm, and then the hands and thumbs finally. All the while, you're just doing extrusions, adding loop cuts, making some slide edges to adjust the model so that it's a nice curvature that you're looking for. Something to keep out for though, when you're adding a bunch of loop cuts, make sure that each face that you generate is only four edges, three minimum. Anything more than four is now something called an N-gon. And N-gons are a nightmare when it comes to Blender trying to solve what that plane is gonna look like. And trust me, when you go to rigging, when you go to animating, when you go to texturing, it's just it's just not fun to work with. So at all costs, avoid end guns. Try to make it four or try to make it three as best as you can. And if you do have an end gun, something you can do is just use the knife tool to create a new face between the two vertices that are creating the end gun. It's a quick and simple edit that doesn't take much time and is going to save you a bunch of headache in the future. Something I found that could be super useful for you when you're making armor is the power of beveling along edges. So when you start using the subdivision surface modifier, basically in, a, in an attempt to smooth out your model, adding beveling at edges of where there's armor pieces or basically adding a bevel wherever you want a sharp edge to be really helps make it a lot more crisp in your final render. So make sure to add beveling whenever you're making your own armor pieces like the chest plate, the shoulder pauldrons, the the sword and all that stuff, just make sure to add the beveling so that it stands out a lot more. I think I'm going to let the rest of this video kind of play out as a time lapse so that you guys can just kind of see how I'm doing it. But if you want like a real step by step tutorial, look at last week's one where we create a simple character model based on our imagination. Anyways guys, I hope you liked the video. Tune in next week when we make that Typhling Hexblade and then I think after that we'll make another rogue, maybe a halfling. And then maybe we can go into Maya, ZBrush, and all these other great tools that you probably want or would love to learn how to use. But until then guys, I hope you liked the video. Talk to you later. Have a nice night.